Hey everyone, I'm the Hungry Islander and welcome to my cooking show. So today I have been craving one of my favorite dishes that I make and that is French toast. So uh, as you can see there's eggs, sugar, milk and you're probably wondering why there's a cereal box here. And this is one of the main reasons why I'm doing this episode today. It is because I add in a twist into my French toast and it is going to be cereal coated French toast. So stay tuned. So let's get started on the ingredients. So for French toast today, I have got eggs, cinnamon, vanilla essence, milk, sandwich bread. Uh, you can use any bread that is available in your grocery store. I'm using sandwich bread today. The cereal I've chosen is cornflakes. It is without sugar, but you can choose any cereal that is with sugar as well. White sugar, some teaspoons whisk, and butter. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is crack your eggs. You're gonna have to make sure to whisk your eggs well because um, you don't want there to be pieces of yolks on your bread while you're cooking it. So get in there. Next, you're gonna add in a few tablespoons of milk. So there goes. One, two, three, four. Vanilla essence. This adds in big flavor to your dish. So I'm going to be putting, I think, one of this. So I'm not really a big fan of cinnamon, so I'm just going to be adding a little bit of it. But go ahead, if you're a fan of cinnamon, then add in how much ever you want. So usually I add in sugar to my egg mixture, but uh, my cereal doesn't have any sugar in it, so I'm actually going to replace the sugar from my egg mixture and I'm going to add it into my cereal. However, uh, I'm doing something different today but feel free to add in extra sugar into your egg mixture and into your cereal if you want as well. So that's done. So we're going to leave this aside and we're going to make our cereal mixture. So for the cereal mixture all you need is some cereal. So we're going to take that out. going to take a handful and just crush it. Okay, this noise, this is what is going to give you a crunch in your French toast and it is going to taste delicious. tablespoon of sugar. So our cereal mixture is done, our egg mixture is also done and we can get started now. So switch your the fire on. Let me let that stay. So you got your bread, your egg mixture, and your cereal mixture. So this is how it's going to work. Take your bread, dip it into your egg mixture, soak it in well, turn it around, and then add it into your cereal mixture. So you're going to want to press it so that it gets coated off well and then turn it and then press it again and add it in and coat it off with sugar 
is gonna help give a nice brown color to my French toast. Just let it cook for about one or two minutes and um, then you can see the results. I'm just gonna put that. Look at that. It's golden brown color and it looks and smells delicious. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna start on my other bread. Dip it into the egg mixture. Then you can press, press, press. Flip it. Press, press, press. Make sure to get all the bottom bits of the sugar. This is smelling really good and I think it's done. Look at that. That is what you're looking for, a golden brown crust. And this is done. Put it onto a bowl plate with tissue so that it can absorb all of the extra butter. And then you can add in the next spread. And it is done. Wow. All of this smells and looks delicious. And now we're going to plate it. So guys, this is the end product. Look at the golden crust. It looks delicious and it smells so good. So now it is time to plate. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do a simple plating for to just eat at home. So yeah, stay tuned. So this is my plating setup. I got my French toast, strawberries, some cocoa powder, some icing sugar, and some honey. So let's start. And there you go. This is the final product. Strawberries, French toast, cocoa powder, and honey. I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah, I'm so ready to dig in right now. So you guys, as you can see, this looks delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Um, so basically, uh, this is my twist on French toast. You can twist it up however you want. Sometimes people make uh, French toast without the cereal as well, but this is just um, my speciality. I love to make it like this. And um, you can use chocolate sauce, you can use more berries, you can add in more sugar, you can add in more cinnamon, you can, you can play around with it however you want. So this is a recipe that I have shared with other people and um, in the next segment there will be some reviews from the people who have tried my recipes. So stay tuned, make sure you watch it. and. Thank you all for joining me today. See you all next week. I am definitely gonna dig in now. I tried out Hungry Island's French toast recipe and it turned out to be amazing. Not just me, but even my family absolutely loved it. I must say, it was amazing. Like the crunchiness and the twist that it actually had with the cereal. It was quite nice. And I would probably and rate my dish a 4 and 5 because um, I think my plating was, wasn't obviously as great as the Hungry Islanders and I followed her recipe exactly so I think I got the taste fine. I and would definitely recommend her this dish to my other friends and I will, I'm looking forward to try out her other recipes online to become a master chef just like her. I'm gonna go with the strawberry first.
them get the crunchiness and it just guys this is so good struggling to get the piece of strawberry i've been struggling a lot during this video this is so good so i'm gonna go ahead and devour that and i'll see you guys next week